All righty. Um, so we've got Joey going up against Seeker. And before this one starts, you will notice that it is going a bit quicker. Um, what we have decided to do here as a crew is start pre-recording Seeker's matches. I don't watch it, so I don't know the result. But what will be left is a little footnote, and it will basically tell me if I need to announce the match as we see it because something exciting is happening or if Seeker's match once again has become a complete waste of time and a dud. Even though his result does still count for the season and everything, because of the way Seeker's deck is built and the way it's structured for its strategy, the duel ends up taking a really, really long time and nothing happens because Seeker will just sit there and camp until he draws his Exodia or somehow it gets broken through. So, I have little time codes where anything interesting might happen. Um, I don't know the result. I don't know if Joey wins. I don't know if Seeker wins. However, um, that's just the nature of Seeker's duels. They are not going to be very entertaining, so they are going to be sped up. And as my footnote here has said from the team, do a shout out to new commenters which means that not much interesting will happen. Even going in double speed, it is still very easy to follow along this match. Calling it would be a challenge, because I'd have to call everything twice as fast, but... Okay, let's go through some new names that I have seen. Chris Simmons, 2575. Uh, this is going back to the Yugi and Rex match. If he summoned Slifer, he would have won, but he did the risky tribute, and it ended up costing him the match. Uh, that's what I love about watching human players over AI, because AI will make certain moves, human players will make certain moves as... Ooh, Joey summoned Guildford the Lightning, so I'm watching along, and Joey's got a good card on the field. And he's destroyed all of Seeker's monsters and gone to the battle phase. Direct attack, 2800. If he can hit two more of them, Joey will win. So maybe Joey just gets a quick victory. Oh, of course he has Swords of Revealing Light just to ruin the party. Down goes Little Wingard. The Dark Door is also active, so Joey can only attack with one monster per turn as well. Um, okay, Anime Knight 8958. Is this a website game? Um, no, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. It came out in 20... 18 or 19? I think it was 2019. Pretty sure it was 2019, um, but no, it's not a uh, it's not an internet-based or website-based game. It is a uh, it's a cartridge game on Switch, and it's also available on PlayStation, Xbox, and um, I think it's available on Steam as well. All right, Garuzi's to the field. Joey can't attack because Swords of Revealing Light is on the field. Um, new commenters: Vert, Vitil. Mice Harpies are always a pain, and the anime for Yu-Gi-Oh! changes things compared to the actual game. Yeah, I guess they had to for continuity in some way for the anime. I also get the feeling the anime was probably made before the cards were released as well. So we see some inconsistencies as we see it get more consistent after Battle City, but, but yeah, the anime had to make some exceptions here and there. And there goes Venom Cobra, back up. Uh, backup soldiers on the field as well. Seeker has got such good drawing capabilities for his deck. Seven cards in hand, card trader as well. It's just a recipe for a... No, there's Cup of Ace, draws two cards. Yellow Luster Shield. Uh, another new commenter, Jumbo Juice 555. This Harpy deck is ahead of all these other decks and it's not even close. Um, man, my Harpy deck is like, yeah, it's unbeaten at the moment. And the thing, the scary thing is, Mai's Harpy deck is not even at full power. That's, <laughs> that's scary. In the, um, eventually I want to do a tournament, thousand plus decks, every deck, everything in it, probably take three years just to complete one tournament. Um, I reckon the Harpy deck will probably finish top 10. Um, literally think of any, like, Arch type, oh, blah, there's Exodia. Joey's about to get slapped. Just like he did in the anime, Seeker also defeated him with Exodia. But yes, eventually, one big grand tournament, the tournament to end tournaments. And yes, we will see literally 
every deck that's every archetype theme deck you you name it they will all compete and see what is the ultimate deck maybe maybe even do it by tiers as well because obviously a uh, an earlier deck is not going to be able to battle against a v reigns deck for example all right seeker giant soldier of stone he's got card trader again too that is a massive card for him to draw this early on um there's another one andr 531 is that meant to be short for andre maybe or just Ander 531 Love the series, found you in my algorithm and ended up getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! as a result of the inspiration. For for me to hear that as a, as someone who's created this series, that is massive. To know that someone's found the series and it's actually got them back into Yu-Gi-Oh! So, and a ANDR 531, I am more than happy that I am bringing you something that you're enjoying and that it's gotten you back into Yu-Gi-Oh! That's a... Uh, it's a massive encouragement for me as a creator, so big ups to you. Appreciate you. Uh, so I'm scrolling. It's Sam28685. Is this on PS4 disc or is it PS Store? Um, I... I think it's only digital. I've Googled it and I can't find it in disc form. So I am going to assume it's only digital on PlayStation and Xbox. Although it is a cartridge game on Switch. So I can't say for sure, but I, I've never seen this game on disc. So yeah, I don't think so. And um, there was another message from Sam28685 as well. I have Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Transfer on Wii. Keep up the great work. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Transfer, I've never heard of that. I'll have to Google that after this and try and find a copy of it myself if it's a game. Which, unless it was just like a trading thing, Card Trader, is that what it was called? Oh, Dual Transfer. I'll have to, I'll have to have a look at that. Uh, OT Butt as well, I might have seen that name before, but either way, while I kind of want Bones to win, I highly doubt it will happen. That was the Bones vs. Keith match from yesterday. I wanted Bones to win too, um, but um, as we were all expecting in that match as well, uh, Keith had Keith has a lot of power, and he beat up Bones in the anime. I really want Bones to win that one as well, but uh, you'll have to wait and see if you haven't seen that one already. Uh, Typhoon3377, just found your channel, bro. I'll definitely be watching more of your content. Good job. Appreciate you too, Typhoon3377. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, as for content, yeah, every Monday to Friday, I usually do two duels. One for Duelist Kingdom, one for Battle City as these seasons continue on. It's... Um, it's... When the, the Duelist Kingdom season is going to end first, and then I was considering of course of doing the GX season but the thing is with the amount of characters that are in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX I might actually have to widen it and I reckon I might actually be able to do a 32 player season in that because GX actually had a lot of characters across all of its all of its shows there's a lot more than 16 that's for sure so I don't know if it would reach 32 but there's definitely more than 16 so I might have to, uh, yeah, have a good think about that one before it starts. Um, as we see, Joey has just pulled Insect Queen. But he's never going to get through that defense. Literally all... S and Seeker's got four Exodia cards in his hand. I've just glanced up. Like I said, nothing interesting happens in Seeker's matches. Oh, there's Sangan. He can attack now and get the last Exodia piece if he so desires anyway. Oh, not anymore, he can't. No, I mean, he's just playing now, isn't he? Seeker, he's got a guaranteed win. That's what I mean. Seeker, unless you can attack his hand, you just can't get through that defense. So Seeker's matches always end up like this. They always suck. They, they're painful to watch. That's why we, I speed them up and we're doing them pre-recorded. Otherwise, they just take way too long. 
They take way too long to upload. They take way too long to commentate. I think one of them took nearly an hour and I sped it up like 300% and it was still 20 minutes long and it was just just a horrible fuel to watch. Um, so let's give shout outs as well to Jason Presland as well. Uh, Mecca Jason. Uh, as I'm scrolling down, Aaron Van De Venter as well. Uh, Marcus Wilbrand. They're just commenters that I've seen uh, popping up quite often as well, supporting the series as it goes. Oh, Lizard King as well. That's a. That was from two days ago. I don't recognize that name either as I'm scrolling along. Joe Lowe's as well. TS Cheeks. Appreciate you guys. Oh, Serenity Spider Monkey. Go Moki. That's a new name as well. It's also a profile picture of Serenity as well. That was for the Kaiba and Mokuba match. Brother versus brother. Um. Thacko Manic as well. Uh, oh, there's another new one. Oh, wow, seven days ago. Mech Warrior 141. I have not seen your name before. I don't think. Shout out to you as well. Uh, as I Samwise 495 as well. I've seen your name a few times. Appreciate everyone who has supported this series. It takes a lot of man hours, a lot of time to put together, and I'm glad that so many people are getting enjoyment out of it. Maybe not from this match in particular, being Seeker and his uh, unappealing way of camping. And I did see he went to attack with Sangan, and Joey managed to uh, actually managed to get all his cards in defense mode to try and prevent that Sangan from winning the match. Ah, oh, he's, uh, he's drawn Exodia anyway. So Seeker picks up a straight series win. Um, so this duel still took. I sped this one up, so it would only take, what, maybe like 12 minutes or so, and it was sped up like more than double its original speed. Well, Seeker picks up the win. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in as well and continuing to support the series. Let us let me pull up those Battle City cards, and let's see who is playing next. Uh, Battle City season. Okay, so another horrible Seeker match has been concluded, with Seeker picking up the victory this time as well. Um, Weevil against Esper Roba. That's, uh, that's an okay sounding match on paper as well. Both got pretty tactical decks, so we'll have to see how that one pulls out. Who's playing in Duelist Kingdom? Let me just quickly flick to Duelist Kingdom just to see who's playing on that. That will come out on Monday. Um, the next few matches. Uh, oh, Kyber and the Paradox Brothers. Both duelists who have actually had quite good success. Well, Paradox Brothers have been on a bit of a losing streak. We'll see if they can snap that. So, as it is Friday, um, I don't do duels over the weekend. It gets a bit difficult getting everyone available and just keeping it consistent. I think doing duels seven days a week would be hard for everyone to keep up with as well. And, you know, weekends, everybody has different things they like to do to uh, try and forget about usually the week that they've just had. Well... I've talked long enough. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in and continuing the support of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Appreciate you all, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe. Take care. Farewell.